Okay. So I'm here in Las Vegas where people can lose everything or gain everything or be completely indifferent. And I'm going to get started on the two minute mark. So we've got about two minutes to go because I just started. And usually it takes a few seconds or a minute or two to get anybody on. So that's why I like waiting for the two minute mark. So if you're watching the recording, you can skip right to the two minute mark or watch between now and then and everything else, up to you. Hey Carolyn, you're my first viewer. And that was pretty fast because I just started this thing. And I'm starting at the two minute mark, which is about a minute and a half from now. Mm. I'm in Las Vegas, as you know Carolyn, but a bunch of other people may not. Standing outside the Heart Attack Grill. I think it's going to be a pretty interesting live feed outside of the Heart Attack Grill where people have reportedly died after eating there because their arteries were so clogged. What's up, Sista? Carolyn? Hi, Sandy. Hi, Tracy. We're starting in one more minute. Please share this. I love all the hearts. Keep sending me love. I love loving up on each other. Love up. There needs to be a rub button so we can like rub up on each other. Yeah, that's where my brain goes. But, yeah, it is crazy, Carolyn, though. Feel free to stick around and interact. It'll be great. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Tracy. Hi, everyone. We've got about 30 seconds to go, and then I'm going to get started. Feel free to share this. Click share and like and love up on. The love button is cooler than the like button. If you agree, click the love button. That's like dry humping. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're pretty funny, Carolyn. Ten seconds, I'm gonna get started. I'm actually gonna flip the camera around from me to, you know, what I'm looking at and stuff. Hello, helicopter. Okay, we're gonna get started now. Okay, everybody, welcome. So this video, I'm, I'm doing right outside of the heart attack grill and check this out if you weigh over 350 pounds you can eat there for free so that's incentive to get morbidly obese and all the health problems that come with it hey lauren nice to see you stranger <laughs> so the heart attack grill there have been people that have actually died from eating here and other places like this clogged arteries heart attacks i mean it's called heart attack grill for a reason and it's really horrible so as you watch this live feed, I'm gonna show you things outside of this building. I actually have a deep respect for this place and you're gonna see why real soon. Of course, I'll never ever eat here and I recommend that nobody eats here, but I have deep respect for this place if you can believe that, it's, it's kind of crazy. But I'm gonna switch this from my face and Marilyn Monroe's face, because I love Marilyn Monroe. I'm gonna switch from her to, you'll see, the actual place. So this is, as it says in the front, the Heart Attack Grill. If you're over 350 pounds, you eat for free. Let's see if I qualify. I even have an industrial scale here. Hi, Dory. Great to see you. Great to see you last night, too, by the way. So I'm a little light right now. <laughs> I've been as high as like 170. I'm apparently 158, 159 right now. But regardless, I'm not even close to 350, so I will probably never eat here for free. Well, I'm not eating here anyway, so I wouldn't eat here for free, <laughs> even if they offered it to me. All right, check this out. <laughs> Fighting anorexia, anorexia since 2005. No gimmicks, absolutely. Unlimited all day, every day. One single bypass at a time. Oh my goodness, so they're having fun with it, right? Way in between each new burger. Uh, no sharing, no to-go orders, must purchase beverage with each burger. Damn, dude. You can send all of your hate mail to, there's the address, I will never send them hate mail, I think that's stupid. This establishment, this goes to the root of why I have a lot of respect for this place. They're honest, and I'm going to go deeper into that in a second. This is really open-minded stuff cash only because you might die before the check clears. <laughs> this is good. No smoking. And so this is weird because Nevada is one of the only states in the country that you can still smoke indoors, right? But for some reason at this place, I guess you can't. But let's see what they say about it. No, no 
still smoking inside. The current governmental regime requires that we post this so as to satisfy their eulamiac desire to exert control over your forgotten freedoms. I love their sense of freedom here. It's another reason I have respect for this place. Oh, boy, am I giving these guys a bunch of free advertising and publicity. Costume party. This is medically themed 365 day a year costume party. Everyone is required to wear a hospital gown at all times while in the restaurant. And it's true. If you peek in the windows, you'll see everybody in a hospital gown. World's record, world record highest fat ice cream. Check this out. Quoted by Guinness World Records as being the world's unhealthiest restaurant, we proudly serve the world's highest calorie burger. Quoted by Guinness as 9,982 calories <laughs> for that one burger. Of course, there's a sexy chick climbing up it, so that you want to eat it because there's a sexy girl on it. Judging by her waistline, I'd say she does not eat it. <laughs> Beer, battered onion rings, wine in IV bags. Isn't that something? You can be served wine through an IV bag. It's creative. Like, give him props for the creativity. While well, riding a cigarette like it's a penis. <laughs> I said penis. <laughs> Alcohol is good for you. Oh my god. Send hate mail to... World's richest, fattest, best full cream shakes taste worth dying for. Oh my lord. Okay, so check that. By the way, I'm going to go back and read through all the comments and respond to them. So don't worry about that. But here's some more of the reason why I have deep respect for this place, if you're so honest. It is pathetic, in my opinion, that major corporate fast food chains will not tell the truth. That's all I want is a little honesty in America about what we eat and why our waistlines are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I make good money selling unhealthy food, but at least I'm honest, I take the responsibility on my own shoulders. Can't the same responsibility be taken by the major fast food chains? The CEO of McDonald's has one course, straight to the bank. My course is also straight to the bank, but at least while I'm doing this, I'm able to tell the people the truth and live with a clear conscience. Isn't that awesome? That's why I've got such respect for this place. I'd never eat here. I'd never have fun with obesity and chronic disease like this place is having. But they're honest about it, and they want to see honesty from other places that flat out lie to their patrons. Here's another one. Uh, founding fathers fought and nutritional are the government's handed way to encroach upon our rights to simply be Americans. So laugh a little, enjoy the type of food that we like to eat. It's an attempt to steal the very essence of what we are. By that I mean the food which defines our ethnic identity as Americans. Will the entire nation become one San Francisco? These people have a right to weigh what they want to eat what they want to eat, and I have a right to serve them that food. I, this one's really good. This is like, give me liberty or give me death kind of stuff. I applaud those who stand up to the tyranny of municipalities that try to enforce their vision of righteousness upon local businesses. I am thrilled that people have begun to stand up and take notice. I stand behind my fellow restaurants for their right to, ch to choice, whether to label their food as dangerous or not. I stand behind anyone's right to debate either side of this issue. Consider prohibition. It did not help curb alcoholism. If the government believes that they can step in and dictate to the people as to how many calories they may consume. It's ludicrous and demonstrates the government's lack of understanding. Don't legislate the calories. If a person wants to commit caloric suicide, is it not their right to do so? I push my food down anyone's throat. And last one. I am probably the only restaurant here in the entire world who is unapologetically telling you that my food is bad for you, that it will kill you, and that you should stay away from it. The better move is to go, uh, the better move is to go restaurants less rather than to mask what you're really doing. We're living in a state of nutritional denial here. I am saying as loudly and as clearly as any business in America can that our food is dangerous. I openly accept my equal share of blame along with any other restaurant who shoves people full of junk food. We're past the point of no return at the heart attack grill. We have blood in our hands at this point. Do, 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 do. Okay, so fascinating, right? So you may disagree with the choices that people make, and certainly for yourself. If you have any love for yourself and your health and your wellness and things like that, 
And I think it's dumb to have fun with this problem in America and in the world too, but especially in this country, to have fun with this problem of obesity and chronic disease and all the problems that it brings. But I really dig this dude's honesty. And to answer one of the questions that I posed in the caption of this video, should the government get involved? Absolutely not. <laughs> I think people have a right to be as dumb or as irresponsible and so forth as they want to be. But we also can be ambitious if we want to be and do good for ourselves and other people around us, that kind of thing. And also the other point that the owner of that place makes in all those ramblings is the lies perpetuated by every other restaurant owner just flat out lying about what their food does to you. And he's out there and it's like, if you decide to eat there, that's not, you can't say you weren't warned. <laughs> so I really dig that place for that reason, but I'll never eat there and I'll never recommend that any of you eat there, but you can if you want to. So yeah, so that should give you something interesting to think about. And I'm gonna scroll up now and start reading through the comments. And if you're interested in health and fitness, the other side of what I just showed you, like nutritional eating and take care, you can go to my website, passionfitness.info, not .com, .info, passionfitness.info. Okay, as I scroll through the comments, I'm all up for the rub button. Yeah, I'm sure you are crazy. Carolyn Clark, right? I know. Hi, Melanie, welcome. Apparently you cannot eat for free there because you don't weigh 350 pounds. Sorry. But you wouldn't want to eat for free there anyway, especially all that money you spent on a gym membership going down the toilet. Come on. Rachel says, wow, unbelievable. I know, right? Sandra Heller is, well. hi, Sandra. Dory, hi, Tom. Yes, that's true. And yes, they have died. Very sad. Yeah, very sad. But you know what? They can't say they weren't warned. It's all over the place that if they eat there, there's one of the things I read to you guys literally says, if you eat here, you will die. <laughs> uh, Melanie Baker, we would never have a place like that here in the UK. Melanie, that's cool. But I will say this in my personal opinion, it's cool only if it's by free choice. If the government is mandating that a place can't exist there, then I think that is just awful. But maybe you can answer that in this. Is, is it illegal in the United Kingdom? Or is it just the people of the UK are smart enough to not eat at a place like that, so one would never open as a matter of choice? Yes, Dory, we rocked out last night. It was awesome. We were doing some serious banging, head banging that is, with our beautiful long hair to the music. It was a lot of fun. Diana Dungeon, yeah, it's kind of a crazy place, but I respect them a lot. At least they are trying to pretend to be healthy like my mom's does. That's very true, Tracy. That goes to the heart of why I respect them. Freaking sirens. Damn it. Anyway. Okay, there we go. Lorianne says, hi, Tom. That's nuts. Don't have any place like, here, like that here. Cool. <laughs> Carolyn says, you can't smoke because they want to claim responsibility for cardiac. Maybe, Carolyn, that's a very good observation. It's so weird because this is a state, maybe the only state left where you can smoke inside, like anywhere in all these, it's so weird coming here because we're so used to smoke-free establishments now, but this is, but for some reason, this particular establishment, you can't smoke? That's really weird, so, yeah. Let's see here, hi Karen, hi Erica. Hi, Cassandra and Carolyn. Carolyn, you're so interactive. I love it. Yuck, I'm so glad I haven't eaten meat since I was 11 years old. I'm American. I don't eat this crap. So for all the others, so for all the other countries, we are not this way. That is true. You love amazing cool. stuff. I may understand you, but this is so wrong. It is, Di Diana. I think it's wrong too. I definitely don't agree with it. Just because you admit that it's wrong, it doesn't mean you do it. But he is doing it. I don't agree with it, but I have respect for him at the same time. Kind of weird how that works. Hi, Nicole. Carolyn again. So weird. I would be interested in seeing through the window at the people that place attracts. I wonder how many people eat. Quite a few. Um, why do it? I've seen a person walk in and out of there. Maybe. You know, there might be an occasional super fit person that eats really clean and they're like, oh, fuck it, I'll have a cheat meal. And if I'm going to cheat, I'm really going to cheat. And maybe that happens once in a while, but I haven't seen it yet. It's all pretty unhealthy people that I've seen. It's their choice. Lisa. Hey, Lisa. My daughter and her friends ate there when they visited Vegas. 
cool. Hopefully just like not a regular thing. Craig Humphrey. That's crazy. Yes, it is, Craig. Jane. Hi, Jane. Craig. I hope the sirens are not for the heart attack girl. It could be, man. I don't know. Christine. Hi, Christine. Lisa. This is kind of... This is kind of like the difference between vaping and smoking cigarettes. You can choose to use electronic cigarettes or you can choose to smoke real cigarettes that you know will kill you. I guess I kind of see some parallels there. Well, I am all caught up with reading all of the comments. So we'll just hang out until that runs its course and then I will end this thing. So if you guys want me to stay on longer, you will need to comment. Lots of comments already. It's been a really cool live feed. But if you want me to stay on more, comment more. If you violently disagree with something, feel free to say it. If you ferociously agree with something, you can say it. If you want me to expand on something, you can say it. If you want me to refocus in on something that I showed before, but you want to see more of it, like, you know, whatever, just let me know and I'll show you. While I'm here, I can do that. I won't be able to do that after I'm back home <laughs> until I come back out here. But yeah, if you want me to focus back in on something, just let me know. Or if you have a comment to make or whatever, whatever's on your brain, go for it. Because something like this really does, it's so mind twisting. It, it really does invoke a lot of emotions, really. Hope to see you again too, Dory. Keep me updated on what you're doing down here. Be, it, it'll be good to rock out with you again. <laughs> There's a chance. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be down here tonight, Dory. On Fremont, I might be, so keep me updated. Okay, my friends. It looks like there's really nothing else going on in this live feed, so it was very good. That's awesome. I got somebody's magnificent belch in the backdrop of this video just now. Could you guys hear that? I mean, that was like insanely loud. <laughs> Maybe he just got out of the heart attack grill. I don't know. They should post photos of the commercial farming industry on that window. Maybe more people would be vegetarian. Maybe. Okay. Carolyn, I'm so glad you said that. I'm going to extend this video a little bit more. This is where I think the government absolutely has to get involved because people are too careless and thoughtless, dim, dumb, slow, and stupid and self-absorbed to take care of something that needs to be taken care of that is so unbelievably cruel and thoughtless that creates so much suffering by the billions. And that is, the government should step in on every business that has anything to do with factory farming or any kind of farming that systematically tortures and abuses animals. That's where I draw the line between the government backing off or the government getting involved. In fact, the government should go after all those farmers, factory farm or small farms, I don't care that if there's a systematic abuse and torture going around, they should be prosecuted as the fucking horrible criminals that they are, even if it's totally legal today. And shame on everybody that feeds that unbelievable monster with their money on a daily basis. <sighs> so I had to get that out of the way. Yeah, that's where, that's where the government absolutely has to step in and get involved because we're talking about the systematic torture and abuse of other living creatures by the billions. So outside of that, the government really should not get involved. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if they take... And here's where my, here's where my fundamental vegan friends will strongly disagree with me. And that's fine, from my perspective anyway. If an animal is raised and put down humanely, how can you put down an animal humanely? I believe it's possible, and some farmers do exactly that. Many of them don't. But if an animal is raised, reared, and put down humanely, even for the purpose of food and they decide to use the meat they get from that to make these disgusting, unhealthy burgers that will kill you nutritionally and eventually physically, then the government hands off. But if they're getting their food supply from systematic abuse and torture of animals, the government absolutely should step in and prosecute. I'm not just talking about shutting down the business. I'm talking about all those farmers that participate in that and so forth. I did criminally. I'm dead serious about that. That's how I feel. But that's how I feel about abuse and torture of any living creature. So that's that. Okay, let me get caught up again. Sounds good. I will enjoy your day, Tom. You enjoy your day too, Dory. <laughs> it's all right. You can post twice. You really meant it, so you posted twice. Yes, buy local, buy free range. Know where the meat comes from. Look it up. See how they torture those animals. 
Absolutely. All right. <laughs> so I think I'm going to end this now. Unless somebody has another comment to make that will get me going on something else that's meaningful. Carolyn, you've contributed greatly to this live feed. Thank you for that. And I'll be back in Wisconsin Saturday night, Carolyn. Our country gets all freaked out when they see people in China eating cats and dogs and we beat cows and pigs. I know, right? It's horrible. I guess because it's uh, cats and dogs, we commonly domesticate them and use them as our own pets. And because we are dim, culturally speaking, we are dim, dumb, slow, stupid, arrogant, ego-driven, and just about everything that we do culturally, we can't look beyond that because that's our box that we live in. Cats and dogs are pets. They shouldn't be tortured and skinned alive and all these things, and they shouldn't. But because cows and pigs aren't pets and we see them as food, it's, uh, I don't know. I just, I'm not a fan of people in general. Really not. We stand by lots of important views of so many creatures, and even people, too, for that matter. And somehow the world tolerates it. It's unbelievable to me. Pugs are smarter than dogs, and dogs are smarter than most people. How about that? <laughs> okay, so now I really am going to end this live feed. Thanks, everybody. Carolyn, thank you for all your contributions, and everyone else. My website is passionfitness.info. The opposite, you could say, of what I showed you in this video. It's not a .com address, so don't go there out of force of habit. It's a .info, passionfitness.info. And I have a 21-day challenge. 21 days is enough to set forth a habit that can rest, uh, serve you and others around you for the rest of your life. It's pretty amazing. And we're all defined by our habits, not once-in-a-while events. So connect with me privately on Facebook if you'd like to know more about that and all the support that comes with it. Unprecedented support. And share this, love this, like it, and continue to discuss. I'll, I'll check back later. Um, I'll be able to continue the, the discussions later if you want to. So take care, everybody. Bye for now. Love yous. And don't eat at the Heart Attack Grill. It's bad for you. Mm -hmm.